Hi everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I build my real-time alert notification for my web application. So let me show you what this look like. So right here, so whenever the user wanted to purchase the course, so they click on enroll here, they need to submit the form of the payment that they've been sent. So for example, after they made the payment, so they need to submit this form with the code from the payment from the bank, and they click on submit right here. So as you can see, once they submit, we have this alert task for them that, okay, the purchase has been successfully. Uh, we need to wait an admin to confirm that. And the status is pending. So you can see right here. And for this one, it will stay there until the admin approve this purchase. So as you can see, even if I refresh the page, as you can see, the status right here will be stay there. So watch what happened when an admin approve this purchase right here. So if I go to the dashboard right here, and if I refresh this one, so I will see the latest purchase, which is the status in pending. And if I click approve on this one, so as you can see, this is like happening in real time. Uh, the user will see this uh, task right here that congratulations, their purchase has been approved. And right now they enroll into this course as well. So that is um, what I do for my alert notification for this uh, application. But this one is not precise. Um, so once they uh, approved already so if i refresh this one the task uh, the confirmation is will be gone as well all right so right now let's talk about how i build this one so for that let's go into this one so this is like the table on how i do it so i create a table called purchase so when a user made the purchase they will uh, insert into this uh, table right here so first let's talk about the policy on how i uh, design a policy for this one first so regarding the policy it's uh, it's really simple so the first one is gonna be read. So for read user, be able to read their purchase only. So it means, um, so the user ID here, we need to be equal to user ID. So they need, so they cannot uh, uh, read other people uh, purchase. And for insert, they can insert into this one, but the status code of this one is going to be pending only. So the status, is going to be equal pending. So because we did, we do did not allow them to create the purchase with the status approved. So this is going to bypass our security level. So that's why I set this policy only here. And for update, so update and I think and another one is going to be delete. So I allow only the admin to approve this one only. So only admin to be do um, because we do not want the user go ahead and update their, uh, you know, purchase to status approved, right? So only admin who uh, that be able to do that. And also same thing for delete. And so it means the user can be able to purchase and make the insert into the purchase table, but they cannot remove that and then um, resubmit it again. I think this one is just to avoid spam, but I think there's some edge case where the user might be, uh, you know, uh, putting the wrong code but they probably need to contact the admin directly, but that's not the problem here. So, and also for the insert right here, they can insert only one record only for the each course. So that's why uh, this is uh, how the policy of this purchase table. So let's talk about what happened when they like, you know, submit this form. So when they submit this form, when they submit the form, and so we're gonna toss the notification pending. So what I do here is that uh, I will fetch the purchase from this purchase table. So basically I fetch the pending uh, status is gonna be equal pending uh, at a runtime. So every time the user go to the page, we fetch that and if there's a pending status, we're gonna toss them to the user. And that's why as you can see when I refresh the page, the status pending is still there. And yeah, that's how I do it. And for the success page, uh, success task. So we, what I do is uh, listen to this purchase table right here on real time. And then for success, success, uh, I do listen on real time. So on real time where, so this is like where the updates only, the action is gonna be like the um, chain is gonna be updates. So we're gonna listen to updates events only and it is real time. 
and that's why and then I check the status uh, as well if the status is equal to approve and then I toss the message that congratulations um, that you uh, your purchase has been approved and things like that so that's how I build this one and this is like the policy and the workflow on this notification maybe I can just show you some a bit of code so this is like a purchase notification and this is uh, what I do for the pending state so I use this use effects and this use purchase right here and that will fetch as the status on pending that will toss right here the purchase status right, and things like that and this is uh, the real time things when the purchase is success and you can see we listen on, on the update and we check if the status is approved and this is we dismiss the uh, the pending toss and then we toss a new one with the congratulation that the purchase has been approved so yeah that's how i do it that's how i build my real-time alert notifications and so let me know what do you think on on this approach and all right so see you in the next video